my name is Lawrence Jones and I'm the estate manager at the Golden Lane Estate. Great Alpha House is one of the first blocks which were built on the Golden Lane Estate. Approximately 120 tenants living in the block. It's starting to look lived in, to say the least. It's starting to look a bit tired. There will be new windows in the block. Um, there will be what they call a curtain wall, in, which will provide greater heat insulation, um, greater noise reduction, and it will so bring the block up to date, bring the block up to the 21st century. Uh, Great Arthur House is the centrepiece of the Golden Lane Estate, uh, which uh, was designed uh, by Chamberlain, Powell and Bond. The building was completed in 1956 and it was actually one of the foremost residential redevelopment projects after the Second World War. Great Arthur House is a 16-storey building comprising very elegantly designed fenestration system with a Le Corbusier top to the building. Our work is about really restoring the building to its former self. The cladding system that was designed on the building was designed and built by a company called Quickthrow from Wandsworth. They actually built a lot of the windows on the Routemaster buses. By today's standards, the system is absolutely obsolete. The building uh, leaks quite badly, there are issues of condensation, um, and uh, of course some of the sliding, moving parts of the original uh, window system actually no longer work. The new curtain wall system will be double glazed to improve the energy efficiency of the building. What we've designed is a new panelised system that will be erected on a floor by floor basis with the residents still living within the building. The panels will be located onto the facade with a temporary wall behind. They used this very unique uh, mural glass which was built by Pilkingtons which has a very fine mottle or uh, dimple on it which actually reflects the light. The bigger challenge for us was actually how to um, deal with the relatively weak structural uh, slab that spans between the uh, various end walls and the uh, balcony shear wall and what we've devised is a Virendil truss solution that spans between the strong areas of concrete and allows the slab to deflect behind that so there'll be no deflection in the new curtain wall. Here we have an opportunity to bring a slightly tired building but an iconic building back to life.